Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate background noise on your microphone using NVIDIA RTX Voice. Let's get started. So to kick things off, NVIDIA just released software it's in beta form for RTX based graphics card in order to reduce noise in the background when you're using your microphone. They use the RTX specific chip in order to help with noise suppression. If you don't have an NVIDIA RTX based graphics card, you still might be in luck. It seems that there is a workaround. I will leave a link to this workaround in the description below, but there is zero guarantee it will work. But if you have an RTX based graphics card, you will be in luck. Yes, right now this software is in beta form and it is supported on a ton of different applications. So we can see it's supported on OBS, XSplit, Twitch Studio, Discord, Google Chrome, Battle.net, WebEx, Skype, Zoom, Slack, and Steam Chat. And downloading and installing this application is very straightforward. Just download and install the app and you're almost good to go. Once you've downloaded and installed RTX Voice, open it up and you will be greeted with this screen here. From here, we can change our input devices, for example, to the Yeti stereo microphone, the output device I'm going to set to my speakers. Now to remove background noise, you can select this box right here. So it will remove the background noise from your microphone. You can also change the noise suppression level from none all the way up to maximum, depending on the amount of background noise you have. Now to show how this works, I'm going to be using OBS because that's what I'm using to record myself right now, my screen, pretty much everything, it just makes sense. So here is my audio property menu for OBS. Right now it's showing voice meter, so I can change that. So voice meter, just for reference, is my audio equalizer. Um, I can change it over just to my standard Blue Yeti microphone. You'll probably hear a bit of a difference as soon as I change that over. Now you should hear me speaking directly from that Blue Yeti without any interference from my NVIDIA RTX voice or my voice meter. Now I will also do this test using the equalizer as well. I just want to show you the difference between a raw audio using RTX voice and also an equalizer using RTX voice. Now to test everything out, I will be using a fan and I will also be using a mouse. So I'm going to be clicking the mouse like this when I am speaking using noise suppression and I will have the fan on full blast. Let's actually just turn that on right now to kind of show you what it sounds like without any sort of noise suppression. If you see my camera shake a little bit, it's because the airflow is going literally directly at the camera and the monitor to kind of shake everything. What I'm actually going to do is turn this onto the microphone. I apologize for the audio quality. You can probably hear this clicking a little bit. You can hear the fan noise even right up into the microphone. It's probably absolutely awful to listen to right now. I apologize. Let's switch so you can hear me talking. Point the fan away. Let's turn on this noise suppression and try it out. I'm gonna crank this right up to maximum. So now it's set at maximum. The fan has not stopped. I've continued on recording to show you there's really no funny business here. I'm going to turn it directly onto the microphone right in front of me. I'm going to put it right up to the microphone. Fan is still running. If you can hear the difference, my voice quality is probably lower at this point because the RTX chip is probably working really hard. This is really incredible because I can barely hear. I've got a fan in my ear. I'll start clicking this, this mouse as well. I almost call it a microphone. So hopefully you can hear absolutely nothing but my voice. If you can hear more than that, then this software is at its limits. I'll turn this away now just to see if you can hear the clicking of the mouse. You might hear the occasional click. And now let's try it with an equalizer. So to change things over to my equalizer, I'm going to turn noise suppression off. Now I'm going to switch this over to my equalizer that is installed. If you don't have an equalizer, you probably won't have this option. You might only have the microphone option. But anyways, now it's on the equalizer. Hopefully my voice is a little more clear, a little more crisp because that's what the equalizer is doing. So now I'll turn this fan back on to full blast, obviously. You should be able to probably hear this pretty clearly now. I apologize if I'm shouting, just trying to hear myself over the fan. Turn it on the microphone. This is the fan and my voice into the microphone. We'll add some clicking. Apologies again if this is really painful to listen to. Now let's test out this noise suppression again. 
So I've turned the fan. I haven't stopped recording. I'm still recording. Turning on the noise suppression at maximum. Hopefully it is removing the background noise just a little bit. I'll click on the mouse. Now I'll turn the fan. And now I'm talking into the microphone, right up into the microphone, clicking with the fan. I'll stop clicking now and just use the fan. You'll probably also hear a reduction in voice quality. Overall, I think this is a complete game changer. This will really open the doors for a lot of different people who do have background sound issues when they're trying to record. If you're trying to record, for example, on YouTube or even on Twitch, or if you're just trying to have a standard conference call or a Skype call with your microphone and you can't because there's so much going on in the background. This is pretty impressive. I'm really blown away with how well it worked. Yes, when it's working super hard, you do notice a difference in quality of voice, but at the same time, the drop in quality is far less than how much noise is in the background if you weren't to have it on in the first place. But anyways, my mind is absolutely blown with how well the software works. It builds a massive case to pick up an RTX if you are a YouTuber or are a streamer because having this noise suppression in real time that works this well is huge. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this noise cancellation software. What do you think about RTX voice? Is it great? Is it garbage? Do you like how much noise it does remove? Do you not like the reduction in voice quality when it's working really hard to remove a lot of the noise? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.